everyone. Welcome to NSC TV, your behind the scenes look at the National Sports Center. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Behind me here this past Saturday, it was rocking in the stadium as the Minnesota Stars FC hosted the Tampa Bay Rowdies in the first leg of the North American Soccer League Championship Series. And of course, the Stars prevailed by a score of 2 to nothing. NSC TV was there, so let's show you some of the game highlights. He'll cross it in. Headed out by Tobin. Ambersley. Hill. For Court. Saved by Van Okel. But the flag was up before the shot by Court. Good touch by Hill. Campbell. Far post. What a save by Matt Van Okel. Good flick on. Ambersley now. In for the Rowdies. Pushed away by Van Okel again. Walker touches it for Watson. Walker! Good save by Antonella. By Walker. Watson with speed. Able to see Ibarra. Miguel Ibarra. Back heel. Takata. Taka would like that one back. First pass to Rodriguez. Ibarra. 3v2. Watson. Save. Rebound. Watson. Another save by Antonella. Gets to it first ahead of San Filippo. Broccolello. Walker. Well hit. Oh, oh what a goal. Oh, you saw that one coming. Just laid it there, and Amani, you just saw him line that up. He ball rolled perfectly for the right leg, right angle, get his hips around the ball, just cracker shot. No chance for Antonella. Ibarra with speed and space. Now being shut down a bit. Loose ball, Broccolello. Good save by Antonella, rebound! Outswinger. Nunez! Out of nowhere. Or Connor Tobin. Second. They're both celebrating. <laughs> Somebody got it. Last second goal, Chris. We're going to kick off with a whistle should blow. The fans, the dark clouds are celebrating with the stars. Oh, well, hopefully we need to fight another day. We've got another game next Saturday. Um, now we know it's, a, it's an uphill task with two goals down, but it's not insurmountable. So, you know, we go back with, with, with faith and hope. Uh, disappointing in the second half performance in how we started. Um, great goal by Armani, you know. You've got to take it. It had a hat off at times to players. Um, and I felt we could have defended it slightly better, but I'm always going to say that. Coach, tonight was obviously a huge win, but let's hear in the words of the winning coach here tonight. I mean, yes, I, I, you know, again, right away, my mind goes to it's only halftime, and I, I loved it. I loved the emotion and a great night for the fans. So it was just one of those special nights. I thought we really played well in the second half. Time it created a ton of chances, and, you know, again, I thought we responded from an okay first half. Great result for the fans tonight, for the players. Uh, so proud of our fans for the energy they brought, proud for the players. But again, as a coach, it's halftime, excited, but it's only halftime. Well, the Stars are only halfway home as they have to go down to Tampa Bay this Saturday night to face the Rowdies in the last game of this series. But because they hold a 2 to nothing lead, we're hoping that the Stars will have no problem defending their title and keeping the Soccer Bowl here in Minnesota. All right, well, shifting gears, we're going to head over to the Super Rink, where several weeks back, we hosted a brand new event. It was called The Show. This is a 3v3 cross-ice tournament for the real little skaters. It was quite a unique event, and we'll let Susan Schmidt, the tournament director, explain a little bit. Well, we started the tournament, the show, uh, it's new this year. It was a mite um, age tournament uh, designed to kind of give the youngest age level, we had five, six, and seven, eight mites, um, a chance to play a lot of hockey in a short amount of time. They played about seven or eight games in a 12-hour time frame. The show is what uh, is often referred to as the NHL. Um, and so what we've created is in the show, 
there's three different levels. There's the Minnesota State High School League, which is the lowest level, and then there's the college hockey, which is the middle level, and the show. And so teams have to work their way up by winning up to the show, which is the NHL, and once they get there, that ends up being the championship game. So you have to earn your way to the show, just like you would earn your way to the NHL as a player. is great because it allows these kids to get a lot of touches on the puck in a short amount of time um, and all of the kids really get a chance to participate in the game with only six or seven players on a team. The kids were excited you know it was fun to hear that you know some of the parents were concerned about the winning and losing and once the kids got off the ice all they cared about is how fast they skated or how close they came to scoring a goal or if they scored a goal and winning and losing wasn't very important to these kids. It was a huge success. Uh, first year we had 18 teams, um, pulled the tournament together in under a month. Uh, teams seemed to enjoy it. I uh, had feedback from one coach. We were in the middle of a shootout. Um, it was a one player shootout, is what we go down to in the show. And the coach looked at me in the middle of the shootout and said, this is great, this is so much fun. What a great way to spend a Saturday afternoon. Well, Susan is going to remain busy because she's also the tournament director for the All-American Girls Hockey Tournament, which is coming up in just a couple of weeks, and we'll be sure to bring you that story in a future episode. But that is going to do it for today's episode of NSC TV. As always, find us on our website, nscsports.org. I'm your host, Scott Clayson. Closer. Are you kidding me? <laughs> okay. Totally awkward. Okay, back up. <laughs> uh, right there. And then totally I'll just awkward. stand here and you can look at me and that. Okay, that'd be awesome. Yeah, that's great. It is. Yeah, it is. Thanks, Susan. <laughs> hey, Susan, thanks for that stirring piece. <laughs> well, Susan is going to remain busy because she's also the tournament director for our not next. <laughs> 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 uh, I'm pulling the lid home here. <laughs> that was just for you, Chris. All right. <laughs>